Hello and welcome to the Carl's World Fishing Show. I told you I'd be back and here I am. I'm going to be going uh, for some chub today. It's nice and cold. You've got to change your approach for the no, old... Uh... No, 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 I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. It's getting out of control, right? The whole Carl's World Fishing thing is ridiculous. Cut the tape. It's the Wayne's World Fishing Show. I'm the number one superstar. Not you, not him, all right? You're subscribing to me only, all right? And anyway, we've got things to do. We can't be mucking about with the Carl's World Fishing Show. We're going on holiday. And where are we going? No, we're, we're not going on holiday. We're going on holiday. So you're staying here and we're going away. So let's pack our bags, get our passports, and get on that plane and go on holiday. Boom, there I am. I'm in Norway yet again, 2019. I'm here with the same guys I was here with last time, plus a couple of new faces. And what are we after? The usual suspects, the monsters of the Norwegian deep. Cod, halibut, and coalfish. Pollock as well. We're gonna be catching mackerel as bait, probably uh, small coalies as bait as well. The usual things that are here, guys, you know, whatever you have back home, just multiply it by 100 because everything here, out here is in massive colossal sizes. It is worth every penny to come out here. I'm here again, how can I not want to come here with this kind of beautiful backdrop that we get? And that's just a byproduct of being here. The place I'm at now is not as north as, bear with me, because my Norwegian is terrible. I have no Norwegian skills. Uh, what was it called before? Uh, Hoversoin, Hovers I think it was called, Hoversun, Hoversoin. That's way more north than we are now. Now we're in a place called, here we go, Lof, an island called Lofoten. Lof, I'll tell you what I'll do, and I'll just superimpose a map on the screen now, give you a rough idea where I am, because I can't pronounce these names. I'm very sorry, if any of the Norwegians watching this, I'm so, so sorry. But we've got the boat, we've got a guide for the day, and we've got the guys, we're, we're ready to go. So without further ado, he's not here, left him back at home. <laughs> We're very romantic, as we say, but not that romantic. We don't holiday together, not all the time anyway. So, I know you're ready to see the fish, so let's get out there on the water and see what we can pull out of this Norwegian deep blue sea. And I know for a fact that we're gonna have some good stuff to show you. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's go fishing, stop talking about it. Let's go fishing. I called you tonight. I've been thinking this for too long Send a message, you don't reply I'll keep looking for you, even if it's wrong I'm sitting all alone in my room You're stuck so high It's all going wrong here, yeah, look. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong, boys. It's supposed to be up at four. It's supposed to be up at four. Four. We have eight, six, eight, nine. Four. 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 It's meant to be up at four. Four. She calls me. It's not happening. Not happening. <laughs> well, despite the uh, sore heads and the old blurry eyes, the next morning the guys did get up as you can see. First light, and there's method to the madness. We've got to get out, we've got to get uh, the right time as the tide is up because we wanted to get some bait fish. Um, we're trying to, we were trying to target uh, mackerel, but you know, coalies, mackerel, it doesn't really matter as long as they're the right size, and these, these were the right size. Um, if you, those of you who got a bit of a keen eye, you'll see the fella to my left there in the red jacket. Uh, that's Andre. He was in the other Norway video. 
Gillespie uh, works for the company that uh, organises all this, which is called Sports Quest, and the other company is uh, Nautic Angling. Um, so he, we had him for the day. Now he's worth his weight in gold. I can assure you guys, like I mean, it's good fun when you go out there. You can do it all yourself by all means, like you know DIY. But getting a guide. You know, these guys are fantastic. Like, this is their bread and butter. And old Andre there, he can get uh, that boat around the edge of a penny. Um, the drifts, when he's in control, are, you know, spot on all the time, every time. And he put us on the fish that day. He knew exactly where to go. So, um, what he's doing there, I'm just... Uh, what, well, the rig I've got there, <coughs> it's, it's massive. It's for a halibut, which is target species, right? And he's got a little bit of a little coley there, the ones that we just caught. Now in Norway, you're not allowed to use live bait if you're worried that why that coley's dead. Um, you're not allowed to use live bait. So unfortunately, nevertheless, we'd only just caught all those fish fresh. We had to kill them. But trust, it doesn't make any difference to the old cod or you know even a bigger coley or mainly the halibut. They're really not that fast. As long as a little freebie wasp past their nose, they'll take it. So I think, if I remember rightly, this is the first drift, and um, which is that Coley he's just put on for me. And yeah, as you can see, the old rod buckled over, and uh, the heart started pounding, and uh, well, he uh, squeaky bum time. Because don't forget, guys, I haven't caught a halibut. I haven't caught one yet. You know, this is my second trip to uh, Norway, and I've, uh, you know, I've caught everything else, but I hadn't caught a, ha a halibut. So, you know, I was really looking forward to catching one. And you can tell instantly when that rod goes over, this is nothing else apart from a halibut. It is just like hooking into, uh, well, it's like hooking into a bloody transit van that just didn't want to know. And this isn't even a big one. Like, you know, this is a little baby, but it's my first one, and I was very happy with it. But uh, you can see that old ugly stick there. I don't think he's had to work that hard since I bought him. But I'm um, pumping away, pump and wind, pump and wind. And you, those of you with a keen eye will know that the, the braid I'm using there is different colours. And um, that is to, it's a different colour for every 10 metres. So I know if the fish are, at, I don't know, 70 metres for instance, if it changes colour seven times, I'm roughly in the kill zone. So, you know, that's why the, this different colour braid. It's not that I just thought it was pretty. And there you go, let the guy deal with the fish as well, um, this is only a small one but obviously you don't want a big halibut flapping around on the boat or a massive cod, you can damage the other anglers or yourself and uh, it's his job and he knows exactly how to handle it and what to do. He's giving it a little measure there and that ain't bad, look 84 centimetres, my personal best because it's the first halibut I've ever caught and look at that, oh and look how happy he is, what a fish, what an angler, fantastic. <laughs> God, look at the bend in that rod. Loving that. Bending that man. <laughs> yeah. Just steady, Rob. That's it, Rob. Nice and steady, mate. Well done, that man. Giving him a bit of a fight there, boy. I reckon that could be bigger than your 85. <laughs> First cast, eh? Good fever, when you can put that up there, mate. What's that, bud? Oh, look at him. The beastie! Oh my god, that's a cod! Oh my! Oh my cod! Well done, bro! <laughs> it was the cod that we thought was a halibut, that's how fat he was! Man, nice one! Wow! Oh mate, that's gotta be up a fur. No, I don't know. Well done, Rob! You made that you made that look easy. That's a lie. <laughs> right, Rob, tell the camera what happened there. 
<laughs> Christopher Halibut. Yeah. <laughs> and this baby popped up, and it just happens to be my personal best. Well done, mate. That's a lovely byproduct of halibut fishing, isn't it? Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> oh, now it's romance on the boat. <laughs> He's only going to put boat number eight back in the race. He's our boy, the flipping underdog. It's super die. He's got it. Quite frankly, mate, it could be a halibut or it could be another fat cod. But either way, I'll be grateful to see a fish come on this boat right now. <laughs> Easy die. Go on, look at the concentration in that face. <laughs> He's got this. <laughs> now we're going to do it in a minute. We're going to put it over the uh, radio. Ah! Just beat us to That's it. The Dutch boys, yeah, that's, that's the Dutch fellas. That's the Dutch fellas. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be even if it's not. Cool, he's giving you a bit of stress there, Di. I'll just take my tongue with it. Oh, right, fair yeah, enough, mate. This, we got you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. Super die here. Yeah. I'm getting colour. It's a big cod. It is another big cod, ladies and gentlemen. Another monstrous cod. It's another massive one. Well done, die, mate. I'm still impressed. That's well done. Bloody hell. That's huge. That's a beauty. Well done, kiddo. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Fourteen odd pounds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice problem to have. Is it really? Well done, Rob. Well done. <laughs> nice one, Hollywood. He's ten up. Hold on, Rob. Come out, two drops, half a mile drift, and then what happens? <laughs> Look at it! And then you get bends like that in your rod when all the con right when the conditions are perfect. This weather conditions are perfect. Out to the honey hole. Uh, that's what we do. Well done, Grant. Well done. And unfortunately, the fight for you has only just started, mate. I've heard of man versus food, but this is man versus beast now. Get him up here. <clears throat> you got the gaff ready down there, uh, Rob? Good man, good man. Oh, this looks like a beast. Well, it could be another big cod, but you said he had a couple of good lunges, didn't it? 
It ran off. Just for the record, Grant, I did spot that bite, so uh, <laughs> we'll share this one then, mate, yeah? This is a 50-50, yeah? <laughs> it's 50-50, I spotted your bite. <laughs> God. Is it a big old cod? Sorry, buddy. Oh my god, mate. Another monster. Oh my god, look at the size of these cod. Rip them out. God damn it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, Grant, you tell him. Yes. Well done, sir. Beauty. What a fish. <laughs> what a face. <laughs> well done, mate. That'll do indeed. Well done. Well done.